My dad has been drinking for as long as I can remember. Growing up, I would remember him doing shots while we were driving, and I thought that was so normal. He was just so casual about it. There were many Christmases that were let down because he would be hung over during them. The day of my prom, when we were all taking pictures, he showed up drunk, trying to have fun with all my friends, and here's my dad making everyone super uncomfortable. I don't remember that. If she says I did, then I'll agree, but I don't remember that. My dad missed my senior graduation. I'm sure there has been events that I've missed, but I'm not gonna say it was because of being drunk. I know my dad's a good person. There's so many people who care about him and love him, but I feel like he doesn't want anybody to care about him because he's suffered a lot of loss in his life. Every year, someone close to me has died. My dad does need to grow up and start handling things and start fighting for himself because I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't be emotionally attached to him anymore. Okay, if I am going to help Scott here, if I'm going to help your dad, your stepdad, what do I need to know? What do you need for me to understand? Because I hear him trivializing some of this, minimizing some of this, deflecting and explaining some of this away. What do I need to know? You live with it, you've been there. What's the truth? He just needs to be honest with himself. He needs to be honest with everyone and stop sugarcoating everything and acting like everything's fine, because it's not. He has done so much damage to myself, my brother, my mom, Jordan, I mean, everybody. And he just continues to live, walk around in life like everything's fine, and it's not. He almost hits you head on. Correct. Driving in the wrong lane. Correct. In, in, on the in, oncoming traffic. Mm -hmm. Drunk. Yep. And you called the police. And I was like, you know what? I'm done with this. <laughs> You're putting my child, my children's life in, at risk, my family's life at risk. I'm calling the cops. I don't even care. And you say family just doesn't call the police on family. Not where I come from. Yeah. Where I come from, you don't have the right to operate a motor vehicle on the public highway. That's true. Because I'm on those highways, my grandkids are on the highways, she's on those highways, those grandkids are on the highways, and you ought to be kissing her feet for getting you off the street before you killed somebody, maybe her children, yeah. instead of getting up on your hind legs and getting pissed off because she called off. the police. I just couldn't believe she called the police, you that's all. Pissed. You got pissed Was off. Was I pissed? I pissed. came over and I mean, Two months after, I came over and he couldn't even look at me. How do you get off having the right to be indignant at something they've done? You were breaking the law. You were putting that people's so life totally, at risk. Totally correct. And you have the arrogance to call them out for, for calling call the police on you? I didn't call her out. I you didn't did. say anything. You did. What did you want to say, Jordan? I feel like he, you can't just keep ignoring it. Like, have you apologized? No. Nope. Why? That's rude. Because what if that was me? Well, if it was you, he would have knocked down heaven and earth to, it, to kill whoever had almost ran into But like you love those you. kids. You almost That's hurt true. Those They call you pop pop. <laughs> like, I know. And you never said sorry? You just cut them off because, oh, they called the cops on you? No, that's... I would have called the cops on you about 2.5 seconds. That wasn't the reason that why. To me. You were embarrassed. Exactly.